welcome to Sitka, Alaska, a cute and beautiful, quaint little town. And if you're wondering why that might sound familiar, it's because that's where the movie The Proposal with Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock was set. And they did fly out the stars for one scene in that movie, so put your guesses in the comments and I'll let you know if you get it right. And we don't have a lot of time here, unfortunately, in Sitka. So we booked an excursion through Royal Caribbean called Sea Otters, Raptors, and Bears Oh My. And it starts off on a little boat so that we can go whale watching, sea otter watching. And this was a really good plan for us so that we didn't have to worry about missing our ship or worrying about transportation at all. So let's go along and see what we could find in Sitka. So excited to see some wildlife today. As we were driving out to the wildlife on the boat, we got to see this awesome volcano. This is called Crater Ridge, and it looks absolutely unreal. We've seen a couple of otters, not close enough to show on camera, but we have seen some otters. We got some free coffee and tea, and we're enjoying the beautiful scenery until we find some wildlife. They said we're looking for whales first. Yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be able to show it on camera. Uh, or take some pictures to show you guys, but it's been a little difficult. We have seen a lot on the, the cruise and throughout this uh, this adventure, yeah. but it, it's it's a little hard to zoom in with the uh, you know the, the yeah, G7X. Yeah, we don't have a great lens for zoom, but hopefully we can get some footage for you guys today. You gotta take our word for it. <laughs> we found some humpback whales, and you can tell it's a humpback whale because of its dorsal fin. So lucky to see so many adorable otters and otter families. We saw moms protecting their young and we learned that they have to do that because baby otters have no survival skills and can't even dive until they get adult fur. Got some stellar sea lions over here. Cuties. You can't really see it on camera, but there is a bald eagle over there on that rock. There it is. Again, we're still pretty far away, but that is the bald eagle. Hello, friends. All right, so that concludes the first stop of our excursion. That was absolutely amazing. We saw so much wildlife. So much fun. And now, we're gonna go on a bus to see some more wildlife. Cannot wait. I'm not sure if we're gonna see bears or birds next, but either way, it's gonna be amazing. All right, we are at Fortress of the Bear. We have about 40 minutes here, and we're gonna check out some bears. The main bear that is here in Sitka, Alaska is the ABC bear, which is 90% brown bear and 10% polar bear. Caldwell Woods. These three black bears are named Smokey, Thule, and Bandit. And Smokey and Thule were siblings from Seward who were orphaned, unfortunately. And Smokey was found pretty quickly in a shack break room. And the authorities were called, and they were featured actually on Alaska State Troopers, so that's pretty fun. Smokey's famous. And Thule was actually presumed dead because they couldn't find her for six weeks. But then after that, they found her in the exact same break room that they had found Smokey, so she just kind of spontaneously appeared. And Bandit is from Juno. He's not originally from the same family, but he was brought in as a replacement sibling for Smokey, and he was very grouchy at first, but now he's really sweet, and he loves food and his keepers, and he is the largest of the three bears. Oh, They're just playing. Apparently these bears know sign language, so when they're hungry, they can just ask for food using sign. It's pretty cool. 
These brown bears are Lucky, Toby, and Shai. And Toby and Lucky are siblings. They were both orphaned after a mom ingested a plastic bag that was in a garbage can. So make sure your trash is secured if you're living in an area with bears. And Toby is a female bear and she loves food. She's actually the first bear who started signing for food by putting her hands in front of her chest, which they interpreted as them wanting more food. And we love Toby so much. We thought she was so adorable. So we actually got like a little postcard of her. And Shai is not a sibling of theirs, but he was orphaned after his mom went into a fishing lodge at 2 a.m. and scared the chef. And the lodge put out food to capture and save the cubs afterwards. And he came in eventually. It took them kind of a while to capture him, but he came in finally and he was only 110 pounds. And this has changed a lot, and now he is their largest bear. So that's pretty interesting, but Alaska doesn't allow rehab and release. And Fortress of the Bear is working to change this law, but for now, there's no rehab and release for these bears, so they will live out their days in this lovely home of Fortress of the Bear. Yep. This one is Shai. He's, he's our big boy. He, oh. right now. he is so cool. Yes, he is. I tell him every day. Hi. Hi. Hi, handsome. So, this one's lucky. These bears are about a thousand pounds and nine feet tall when they're standing up on their back legs, so they're quite large brown and ABC bears. These two super cute brown bear sisters are called. Nuka and Akiski, and they are both brown bears who were from Seward, and they were orphaned when their mom tried to break into a chicken coop to get some food for her cubs, and they were not found for about three weeks. So for three weeks, they were in the wild trying to survive on their own, and then eventually they were found, and they were brought to the Alaska Zoo in Anchorage for some vet care, and then finally found their forever home here at Fortress of the Bear. And I have got all this information about these bears from the Fortress of the Bear website. So if you're interested in learning more about Fortress of the Bear or how to support them, I will link them in the description down below. They have a lot of really great information there and you really get to know their bears well through it. They are hoping to do some renovations on their habitat, the bear habitats, and they need some donations because they are a nonprofit. They don't get any donations from the government or anything like that, so they need donations in order to renovate. Fortress of the Bear was amazing. It and, really was. And now we are at the uh, sanctuary for the birds, and we're gonna check them out and see what's here. We have about an hour to go here, so that's gonna be great. I'm so excited to see what they have at the rap Raptor Center. We're starting in the Bald Eagle Flight Training Center. We've grown into what you all see here today. We are the only full-service avian hospital in the entire state of Alaska and one of the largest here in North America. However, through the banning of the chemical pesticide DDT and restoration efforts such as the Endangered Species Act, thankfully, these birds were removed from the endangered species list in 2007, a list that they've been on since 1972. We at the Alaska Raptor Center are very happy to have helped play a role in that success and today there are well over 400,000 bald eagles throughout all of North America with the highest concentration of 33,000 right here in Southeast Alaska. Now, unfortunately, not all of our birds heal well enough to be returned to the wild. In some cases, we can send them to other educational facilities or sanctuaries across the country. However, if they have a temperament that works well with humans, we can keep them right here at our center. This is Ray. Uh, Ray is one of our permanent residents who came to us from Juneau, Alaska. Some unknown injuries is what they told us when they sent her to us. Um, however, as soon as we took her out of the kennel, uh, we could tell what was wrong. I don't know if any of you have ever burnt your own hair accidentally or on purpose. It has a very distinct smell. If you detect that smell on a bird, it is a very high chance that they have been electrocuted. So in Rain's uh, case, uh, she had badly burned the tips of her wing, uh, the metacarpals. And that area of the wing is where the primary feathers come out. Uh, so since that area was so badly burned, she is unable to grow those primary feathers. You can see over here, she's only got uh, the secondary feathers. 
Uh, those are what give the bird lift, so she is still able to get up into the air. However, without the primary feathers, her wing is no longer shaped like an airfoil, so she can't get forward motion, she can't maneuver once she's in the air. We don't pet them, we don't stroke them. Uh, they're not really social out in the wild, so they don't enjoy such things. Uh, we will, however, train them to tolerate uh, what's called a keel feel. Uh, that's the huge bone down the center of their chest. On either side of that bone are the primary flight muscles. Uh, so that area is a very good indicator of the bird's overall health. Can I touch it? So this is a good way to show you how much of her is made of feathers. Uh, so a bald eagle has over 10,000 feathers on their body. Um, and if you were to take them all off and compare them to the skeletal system, the feathers actually weigh more than the bones. Um, that's because eagles have hollow bones like most birds. Uh, they're not, the, their bones are not like sippy straws. They're kind of honeycombed with little air pockets to reduce as much weight as possible while still having a lot of structure. You guys wanna guess how much she weighs? Good girl. 40 pounds, 2 pounds, because we've got a big range here. 10 pounds, that's closer. She's only about 11 pounds. Good. Wow. Um, so that's fairly typical for a female bald eagle. Uh, they usually range from 10 to 16 pounds, whereas the males are a little bit smaller. They're usually from 6 to 10 pounds. It opens up different hunting niches. So the males are able to go after faster prey, whereas the females get the heavier stuff. And the females typically are the primary incubators for the eggs, so having extra body mass produces more heat. Out right, here we have a snowy owl. Well, oh, it's basically teenagers looking for their own room. So they spread out to look for that. Beautiful. This permanent resident snowy owl is unfortunately he will. He will. unable to fly, so, so he gets to stay here. Hmm. How big is Brandon's wingspan against an eagle? Nice. Cool. They have a western screech owl, which is actually one of my favorites. They're so cute. It looks kind of big because I'm zoomed in, but they're very, very tiny. See, very tiny little owls. They're so cute. They do have a nature trail that looks very beautiful. Unfortunately, we only have about five minutes, so we will not have time to do this nature trail right now, but it is here for next time. And it is absolutely beautiful here. And I'm sure you could find some birds out in the wild here. And there's also lots of signs about bears. So use caution if you're going to do the trail. They also have a great horned owl over here. Wow. Hey, it's pretty girl. Does she have a name? Her name is Narwhal. Narwhal, that's so cute. Thank you. Sure, enjoy your stay. We've got a beautiful day. Thank you. Yeah, it is. It's a perfect day. Bye, little screech owl. He's so cute. Bye, Rain. Thank you. You can see there's a falcon in here as well getting rehabbed. Sadly, we are leaving our very last port of call for this trip and heading back onto the Serenade. Hello friends, thank you for joining us and journeying to Sitka, Alaska with us. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you learned something either about bears or raptors, we certainly did. Unfortunately, this is the last installment of the Royal Caribbean Serenade of the Seas, Alaska Cruise videos. But no worries there, friends, because after the cruise ended, we did journey to Seattle, Washington, and did uh, some vlogging there as well. So with all that, let us know in the comments down below. Did you learn anything? What was your favorite part of the cruise? Um, and all the information is going to be in the description down below. With all of that, hope to see you on the next one, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to follow along on all of our journeys and Alaska cruise videos, hopefully in the future. See you in the next one. Take care.